your East Texas Storm Team forecast with Chief Meteorologist Carson Vicroy. What a July it has been so far. We have now seen seven consecutive days of below normal temperatures. This started last week on the 18th and that's gone through today and I think it will continue for at least the next three or four days and it was one of those days where temperatures kind of struggled to warm up. We only got to 87 at Tyler, which is well below normal and 1920. That's when we saw a record high temperature of 105. And can you believe that was 104 years ago to the date that when we saw that temperature temperature wise right now, we have now fallen into the 70s and we are in the 70s area wide. We had a few 80s earlier in the day, but that is no longer the case. And as we look at future cast, we're not seeing much by uh, by midnight tonight. We're just going to be seeing a few clouds, but tomorrow morning, this is nine o'clock. Don't be surprised at all if you wake up to a rumble of thunder or two. That's because the front will provide enough lift that we will get a few showers and thunderstorms around. That's nine in the morning. And then as we move into tomorrow afternoon and evening, we're still tracking a few showers and thunderstorms to our north and northwest. So we'll keep an eye on that. But as we head into your Friday morning, we'll continue to see a few bubble up showers and thunderstorms out to our west, our central and northern counties. That's 11 o'clock. And then as we move into about six o'clock, we are monitoring a few showers and storms in deep east Texas Friday afternoon. So tomorrow we've got rain. Friday we have rain. Even on Saturday we could see some rain. Now again, None of these rain chances are going to be washouts. They're going to be very comparable to what we have seen this week so far, where we don't see rain ev every minute of the day, but we could see multiple rounds of it where it's pretty dry and nice between the bands of rain and then we see the rain 73 overnight tonight 20% chance of rain and then as we look at tomorrow's forecast temperatures will be in the mid 70s through 8 o'clock and then the better rain chances will arrive in the afternoon with upper 70s and low to middle 80s expected for your high temperatures. Here's a look at the 6 to 10 day precipitation outlook rain chances. They're coming to an end temporarily next week, so we will start to feel a little more like summer because without the rain, without the cloud cover, we've got the sunshine and that will really allow our temperatures to ramp up and do so quickly. July 30th through August 3rd, I do expect our highs to be in the 90s, which could get us to at average or just above average. That's what you can see in these reds, oranges and light oranges. That means above normal temperatures, which historically this is one of the warmer times of the year for us. Late July, early August, decent rain chances through the weekend. High temperatures will be in the low 80s Thursday and Friday, mid to upper 80s Saturday and Sunday with decent rain chances through the weekend 92 on Monday 93 on Tuesday 95 on Wednesday and then as we look at deep East Texas decent rain chances as I mentioned through the weekend and early next week high temperatures will remain in the 80s and then that will be followed by warmer temperatures next week in the 90s Isaac 